Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today. The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma. Hi there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of The Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for New England. Well, you know, I hate to, to sound cliche, but I gotta say it, where did the summer go? I, I honestly can't believe that it is already October. We've got leaves changing colors, starting to fall off the trees and fill my yard. The nights are getting cooler, the days are getting shorter, and you know, bluefish, striped bass, and blackfish are being landed all across New England right now. On the freshwater side of things, fall trout stocking is underway, and for those trout fans out there, I put together a list of uh, what each state is doing on the trout stocking side of things, and that can be found at thefisherman.com. Unfortunately, all too soon, we'll be cursing at the snow and drilling holes in our local frozen ponds, but you know what? Until then, there is still plenty of fishing going on right now, so here we go. All right, starting off, as always, in Connecticut, uh, where bait fish are on the move in Long Island Sound. You know, I've personally seen adult bunker, peanut bunker, mullet, bay anchovies, and silver sides at different times in the last week with striped bass and bluefish feeding on them. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to sneak out for albies yet this fall, but uh, I know that a lot of guys are still chasing them in the sound, and they've been finding pretty good success despite the heavy fishing pressure seen this year. Uh, sea bassing has been a game of dodging through uh, hundreds of shorts by some to find a few keepers, but highlight on the bottom fishing side of things right now is porgy fishing, which shows no sign of letting up. And lastly, we are less than a week away from the reopening of blackfish season in Connecticut, which takes place on October 10th. And over in Rhode Island, the fishing continues to improve each day following that uh, one-two punch we had of hurricanes not too long ago. And surf fishing has been good in the breachways and all on the beaches of South County with bass blues and some albies being caught. And it's been a little slower to clean up offshore, however, but I did get word that the Francis fleet had a decent couple of cod trips this week with fish to about 10 plus pounds and a load of porgies across the boat. They also ran into a lot of sea bass, but unfortunately right now in both Rhode Island as well as federal waters, the season is closed, so they had to all get tossed back. But uh, the fall cod season has been better than that of the winter the last few years due to, and if nothing else, the somewhat more stable weather pattern. So now is the time to get out after them. And up Massachusetts, the uh, Martha's Vineyard Derby is plugging along with some really good catches being entered so far. They had a new Grand Leader Shore Bluefish of 16.7 pounds weighed in by Bob Bottery on Tuesday. Now the Derby runs through October 14th, so there is still plenty of time to get in on the tradition. And with the reopening of the commercial tuna season, some big bluefin were landed in the last few days. Advertiser uh, Captain Rich of Black Rose Charters nailed a solid 395 pounder this week. And pretty much what I've been hearing is word is that the bigger tuna have almost exclusively been falling for live mackerel. And this is regardless of where the boats are heading out, whether it's Stellwagen, up off P-Town, or out east of Chatham. That remains your best bet for tangling with a giant right now. All right, well, there you have it. I am Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of The Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines if you head out onto the water this weekend. The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma. Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, The Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today.